very excited to welcome our friends from Dynamic Signal. Uh, this is a series that my good friend Travis and I have been doing for the last few months and really look forward to a great session today in, in our continued efforts to bring the third party partners uh, to the table that are that are really driving some significant uh, integration with teams and uh, we'll jump in and get started. So a couple of housekeeping items as we go forward that we are recording. So hopefully everybody's comfortable with that. If not, you have the option to drop off and, and we'll send you the link to the recording available. Uh, the recording should be available by the end of the day tomorrow, uh, assuming how quickly that processes and the link in this uh, is actually clickable uh, for you as as that goes forward. Uh, everybody is on mute right now. Thank you for that. If you need to come off mute, just uh, looks like we have some new technology uh, implemented into Teams, so we're going to have to allow your mic. So please put a note in the chat for us, and uh, we'll allow your mic and have you come off mute. Or just raise your hand. Otherwise, raise your hand. Exactly. Uh, we, again, are doing these snack and learn sessions. We'll continue to do those in the next month at least, and then into the next uh, fiscal year for Microsoft. So look for updated invites and, and acknowledgement for those coming soon. And then the last piece here, but an important one, is uh, please fill out our survey. Uh, we're always trying to get better at this, bring the right partners to the table that are important to you. And the link here is live. And if you do so, you, you get put into a drawing for some nice giveaways, uh, which is a gift card for uh, some food, uh, as we you know like to call these our snack and learn processes. <laughs> Typically, we do these and uh, have it called a lunch and learn, but really appreciate you guys uh, participating in the survey. I'm going to go brief today on kind of the what is Teams platform. We, I see some very familiar names that have joined us here again for a snackable, but again, when you think about teams, and that's Travis and mine and our peers' responsibilities to help your organizations leverage teams to solve business needs and challenges, it is more than just typically chat or phone calls. The spirit of this conversation is to talk about the platform side of that and what we can do by bringing in app integrations and creating efficiencies that really drive that business change in your environment. So partners like Dynamic Signal are just a part of that. You have others that are on the screen here to take a look at, but this is where you can really start driving innovation within your organization. And the reason we want to talk about that is kind of these key points, and I'm not going to bury the slide here, but it's really that a lot of customers right now are challenged. They're really challenging, challenged with getting to that next phase of integration of teams. And as we meet with you and spend time with your organizations, we really want to talk about those next level exciting enhancements that we can bring to the business uh, and give your employees time back, create a single pane of glass for them to uh, do their daily work from home uh, at this point in time, or hopefully soon to be back in the office. So um, this is just a, some information on kind of how disengaged some, uh, some employees might feel right now and what we can do when, when we take on some of these things like dynamic signal will speak to here and what that will help uh, going forward. Yeah, so without, go ahead, Adam. Sorry. No, go ahead, Doug. Oh, I was just going to hand it off to you and say, well, again, I'm very excited to introduce the team. We'll let Adam kick us off, and then we'll circle back with next steps as we go forward. So thanks so much. Yeah, you bet. I mean, I think I think from our from our perspective, where we where we sit, and we'll we'll get into this in, in just a minute. This is this is a, at a super high level is the business problem Dynamic Signal is trying to solve. Right, we're trying to help companies turn their employee engagement up, not just one notch, you know, but to sort of go spinal tap to kind of turn it all the way up to eleven. Right, because if you can get your employees engaged, you cut down the frequency with which they're not paying attention, they're more present in the office, those companies are more profitable, their stock prices are higher, the employees are more productive, they're better at recruiting friends and former colleagues to join the company, and that translates into everything that a company really wants. And so when we think about Dynamic Signal and Microsoft, we obviously first and foremost think about the, the functional you know, plugin that that Doug was talking about, right? So, you know, a, an easy solution that helps elevate a company's existing investment in Microsoft, right? From Teams to O365, and we'll talk about the the functionality there in a little bit. But we're also talking about something that's a level up, right? So, M12, Microsoft's former venture arm, um, has invested 35 million dollars in Dynamic Signal. So, we're the only player in our space 
that not only plugs in and works with Microsoft, but also has the financial backing um, of Microsoft. And we think that's something that's important to point out. Um, this is really our reason for existing. It's our starting. Adam, point. I'm yeah. sorry to interrupt sorry. you. Please go ahead and take control of the slides and so you have the opportunity to advance. I, you know what, I, I am clicking. Can you not, see, what, what slide do you see? I'm still on six. I don't know, Travis, if. Yeah, Adam, just hit the uh, take control button up top. Uh, let's see, a take control button. I, I can see I can navigate in the slides. You're not, I was actually navigating. That's your personal view, yeah. So the new PowerPoint experience, a little friendly note here is, uh, if you are, if you do not have control of the deck, you can advance and go back on your own pace, or you can click on the go back to presenter view. But if you'd like to present, there'll, there'll be a button up top that says take control. There is no button called take control. All right. So well, participants conversation, more actions, video, et cetera. But that's um, fine. Why, we why, wanna, don't, why don't we go to the, let's go go to slide seven, if you could, please. The slide that if you need, I'll move them. Okay. There you go. Um, so, this, as I was saying, you know, th this is our starting point. It's the reason that dynam dynamic signal exists. It's the reason that we're on the journey we're on um, to help. You know, these are the qualities, that, if you want to call them qualities, I guess, that embody the outcomes for using the dynamic signal technology in conjunction with Microsoft. It talked, you know, it, I think it hits really hard on the culture we're trying to create for companies and the changes that we're hoping companies who work with dynamic signal can make in the world both for their employees and for the cut and for the the company that they keep um, we truly don't look at dynamic signal just as software um, I mean, obviously fundamentally that's certainly what it is but we are really helping companies build their own communities a community of employees and sometimes those communities go beyond employees they might include partners they might include alumni they might include consultants that can include everybody from the C-suite, and C-suite we mean CEO, CFO, CIO, to the custodial service, right? And everybody in between, right? Next slide, please. Right. And so the way we do that is with, with what we call a unified employee experience. So we help companies transform their fragmented technology, right? Um, They've got email over here. They've got an intranet over there. They've got, um, you know, un unauthorized or unknown uh, group chats here and there. It might be something in WhatsApp. It might be something in Facebook, right? And try to condense that and unify it in a single experience um, where there is a single source of truth, where communications is equalized, where employees can give feedback in a two-way manner. Um, where employees are given the opportunity to be advocates, right? Hey, here's a job I think you should apply for. Let me share that. We've just won an award. We've just launched a new product. Make it easy for employees to share that information through their own social networks, right? And what that does is it helps level the playing field. It helps give employees, whether they're working on a factory floor or a loading dock or the wood and walnut panel hallways, the same type of experience regardless of who they are, where they are or why they are in the organization. One of the things I'm sure everybody on, the, on this call knows is that nothing has accelerated digital transformation for companies like COVID and the pandemic. Um, one of the things we've noticed through a lot of customers we work with is that that acceleration has uncovered sort of a, 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 a I, I, the, I, I affectionately call it the, I should have had a V8 moment, right? The slap your face and like, oh, aha, uh -huh, right? And that is that inside of a lot of companies, those companies have realized that they've unintentionally created a series of haves and have nots, right? Inside of companies, there are people who are using Microsoft Teams and they have computers and they have email accounts and they have access to an intranet and all sorts of other tools, right? But there are a lot of other employees who work at that company. In fact, probably the majority of the people who work at those companies who work on a retail environment, work on a floor, factory floor, who work in front of a cash register, who work in front of a store, who don't get assigned company emails, who don't um, have those same tools. And so for companies who are seeking ways to equalize that, right, obviously one of the easiest ways is to make sure all those folks have 
access to teams and access to O365. But even in lieu of that, Dynamics Zone can sit as a layer on top of it and be that unified unified voice that connects everybody who has teams, whether they're sitting in corporate or not, with everybody who doesn't, right? And that's giving them access to functionality they need for their jobs, right? It might be Kronos where they're going to punch in and punch out. It might be ADP to go look at their pay stub. It might be Workday, right? Um, lots of different ways to look at that. Next slide, please. Yep, we're on it. Yep, I still see. Oh, there we go. And we are extremely fortunate and privileged to call some of the world's largest and most respected companies um, as our customers. In fact, nearly a third of the Fortune 100 rely on Dynamics and will grow. We've highlighted um, a handful of those on this slide, actually a couple handfuls on this slide. Um, but just calling out some of the retailers we work with, we're proud to work with Wegmans, we're proud to work with Wawa, um, Ralph Lauren, and other CPG companies. Um, we, in fact, recently just signed an agreement uh, for launching later this summer with uh, one of America's uh, largest sporting good retailers. Um, so we have the experience to understand what does a retail organization need to be able to improve how it communicates with employees, both those who work at headquarters, those who might be working remotely, as many of us are now during the pandemic, and those who are still on the front line and needing to find out detailed information about their job on a day-to-day -day basis. Next slide. Excellent. So any any questions from that part of the presentation? I don't see anything that's on the no hands raised. I don't see. Um, but if you do have questions, please do raise your hand or type them into the chat. Uh, so yeah, Ramon, one, one thing that I'll, I'll throw out there uh, and Adam for you, this was uh, Travis and user error. I needed just so everyone's aware I had to make you guys uh, presenters. Uh, so now you should have the ability to take control and advance your own slides. I, I, I do see that button. However, Ramona is going to take it from here, so I will yep. take control. But that, yep. good to know for next time. Thank you. Yep. Just took it. Perfect. Excellent. So as, as Dynamic Signal, as, is a, as Adam mentioned, we're, we've been a longtime partner of, of Microsoft. And how we are delivering that information and content to the corporate as well as first line employees is through a number of different channels. And so integrating with the M365 communications and collaboration ecosystem, such as here, you have SharePoint, email for Outlook, Teams, Yammer, et cetera. But what we do is, is a very simple integration. It's simply taking your Teams tenant ID, attaching it to dynamic, dynamic signal. Uh, we have a, a native integration with that, so it's really quite simple. It can be done within minutes. Um, and then the administrator then chooses the different teams to be able to broadcast or push notifications to, uh, as well as add the dynamic signal platform as a tab on the left-hand rail. Um, so we are able to really create a more unified or holistic communications program from a, uh, a corporate comms, marketing communications, HR communications, and et cetera, and really be able to create that one-stop shop or that front door to all your communications and collaboration needs through, through Teams. And so when we are able, when we do that, we simply connect those fairly simply. And then you also have the ability to access Teams and Dynamic Signal through all these different channels. So you can uh, utilize it on the, uh, on the mobile app for Teams, you can use it on the desktop for Teams, but you also have the Dynamic Signal mobile app and so, and so forth. So you have a, a real way to really now reach 100% of your workforce uh, to be able to have better communications and collaborations throughout the entire organization. It is a two-way feedback, and so you have the ability to push content out, get get uh, feedback directly on that uh, uh, corporate communications information as well, and then collaborate through Teams uh, as, as well. And as we think about the entire communications ecosystem, you now int intranets are typically a little bit less um, uh, I guess engagement through them. Um, they can be made to be very pretty, um, but as we know, as an average, we have a, a little bit less of a engagement rate on the intranets. And so with Dynamic Signal, when you have a personalized news feed that can be actually imported and directly um, put into SharePoint as a, as a 
page of itself or as a widget. We can personalize that content newsfeed and put it into, into Dynamic Signal into SharePoint, and then you can have a little bit more engagement. But now that we have the push notifications that can go to Teams through mobile uh, and to desktop and really create that active participation or engagement rates, through dynamic, dynamic signaling, you can drive that exponential, not those incremental results. And so you really have the ability to drive a lot more engagement from your content that you're creating uh, and spending a lot of time and resource in building and really push that through into Teams, into dynamic signal to be able to create a better communication structure. And Jerry Lynn, just to jump into your to your questions, um, the, the short answer is yes, right? So the let's say you've got a piece of information, right? Hey, we were just featured in um, you know retail quarterly, right? Some some publication, right? That might be the kind of information that you would say, you know what, this isn't worth alerting everybody with an alert on their phone, right? With an update on COVID-19 and you know, a new work from home policy, but we're gonna push um, a communication about that news article into the marketing channel in Teams or into the public relations channel within Teams or into the you know communications, man whatever channel in Teams you've got it set up. And then the members and users of that Teams team within Teams, that Teams channel, could see that content, read that content, consume that content. And if that content was was shareable, right, they'd also then be able to click a share button and share it out to Twitter, out to LinkedIn, out to Facebook, out to their social networks. Excellent. So yes, and, and, and so to, to piggyback on top of that, there are a very, it's a very targeted content push. So depending on who you want and which teams you want to be able to create and push that content to, it's very simple and easy to do, but you can do it all through one particular page. So you can deliver that information and that content to multiple channels simultaneously through one push notification through dynamic signal. So if you want to send it to teams as you know, maybe three or four teams within teams, you can send it to those, but you can also send it to email, targeted email to individuals, depending on groups and, you know, location, geography, job title, et cetera. You can create that instant push notification that goes out to a very targeted group of employees or everyone. So it's really up to you and how you want to drive that communicate that active communication and engagement. And so what we actually want to showcase is that there is a lot of uh, ability to address the glaring need in retail is that we want to be able to reach every single employee, not only just the, the corporate employees, but also those frontline employees, those cashiers, the registered people, the, the, the wait staff, the people, the operation staff. You really want to be able to get those people to receive the information. And they also you want to be able to record that they've actually received it. So did they read this particular post? Did they watch that video? Did they acknowledge that push notification that went out saying that there's a, a storm coming and that we need to be able to redirect them or tell them to stay at home? So there's a lot of things that we can do from a communication standpoint besides just pushing that information out. A lot of it comes back in, term, in, in terms of metrics. And we then build around analytics to retarget people who may not have seen that particular post. So it really does drive a lot of more engagement and also the metrics around your communication structure. And be, being able to integrate this in with your dynamic signal platform, very simple and easy, as I mentioned before, all we need to do is have your tenant ID, connect that into the dynamic signal platform, choose the different teams you want to be able to publish to or push content out to and then you can always update those on the fly as needed but then also create that tab in the left hand rail within within teams to create that more unified communication structure as a platform within teams and ashley to, to your question the, the short answer is yes and right so some of our customers are using it in such a way where they might bounce back and forth between how they're using Teams and having Dynamic Signal integrated in Teams and other functionality that might exist inside of Dynamic Signal's app that wouldn't exist in Teams, right? Perhaps like pinned content or the ability, um, as I think about this uh, this other retailer that we're gonna be bringing online later this summer, 
Um, one of the reasons they're they're partnering with us is that um, they offer their employees a, an employee discount when they shop, right? And so right now the way that works is those employees get a physical card, a physical card that gets mailed to them. If they lose it, they have to um, fill out a form and get a new one sent to them. Uh, so there's obviously a cost with that. There's also the cost of if I, as Adam, an employee, give my discount card to someone else like I shouldn't, but they perhaps go to a different store and try to leverage that discount that's costing the company money, right? So what we're going to be doing is within the Dynamic Signal app is we're going to, uh, much like you would on a VPN, we're going to make that digital, right? So we're going to bring in that discount into the app. The, your discount code will change every 15 or 20 minutes. And the only way you'll be able to get that employee discount is by having the Dynamic Signal app on your phone. That discount code won't exist within Microsoft Teams, but if they're communicating out details around this updated program, that detail, that communication would show up in Teams, it would show up in Dynamic Signal, it could show up in your email, it could show up in SharePoint, it can show up in all the different digital destinations that an employee has. So for a lot of those frontline employees who, as I mentioned earlier, they're not given that equal access, right? They don't have a computer, email, internet, all that stuff. The Dynamic Signal app winds up being a great solution because we're giving them that access. But for the employees who do have those solutions, who do have access to Teams, who do have access to SharePoint, who do have access to Outlook, on top of Dynamic Signal, they're also getting that information where they prefer to get. Perfect, excellent. And so this does create really uh, efficiencies at scale. So when you are creating or aggregating content and information through the Dynamic Signal CMS, you're able to really then drive a more efficient communications uh, structure. So if you have multiple communications teams working on your um, information, so again, marketing communications, corporate communication, HR communications, you're going to have many administrators in the Dynamic Signal platform but it is allows them to aggregate all the information, content, uh, and, and media that they need to send out to those individuals across the entire enterprise in one place. And so as we're pulling in content from SharePoint or third party sources or social media, we're able to push that content out to all those disparate uh, communication channels through the dynamic signal system in one fail swoop. So I can push content out to six or seven different teams I can have it displayed within SharePoint. I can send it to email. I can send it to Yammer and, and the Dynamic Signal mobile app uh, and desktop apps as well. So all within one page and then be able to, instead of having to go to those disparate systems, be able to republish those every single time. So we're not only creating a more efficient way for your employees to consume and engage with the overarching company from a corporate comm standpoint, but it allows you to actually create a more effective and efficient communications program as well. And again, it's really simple to do. So by simply connecting your team's tenant and selecting different teams you want to be able to publish to and creating that side Panda app, um, you can start the showcasing or distributing content through teams uh, within minutes. Yep, Geraldine, you raise your hand. I think I'm, am I unmuted now? Oh, yep, you're good. There we go. Um, I'll go on video for you guys as well. Um, thank you so much for this conversation. I appreciate you guys taking all my questions here. So question along those lines, obviously we're reaching, you know, through dynamic signal, you're reaching our employees where they rather, you know, where they would rather be or be best, right? I guess the question I have is, you know, to try to not fragment our employees so much. What is the conversation around, here's another app to download when I just get the message on X? How, how do we combat that with our leaders who sure. are, you know, those conversations? Yeah, no, no, very, very good question. So think of Dynamic Signal as an employee engagement and communications engine. So creating that employee experience as the most optimal experience possible. So you don't have to necessarily utilize Dynamic Signal within our uh, a new app. You can actually just have Dynamic Signal as 
its own instance within Teams. Uh, you can have it as its own instance within SharePoint. You can simply just go ahead and send that content out to them through um, email and they can access the desktop app, the app if they wanted to or a mobile app. So they have a, a, a plethora of ways to be able to access this content and information, not necessarily need, needing to utilize Dynamic Signal as its own standalone instance or communications channel. Now, if they don't have an, an M365 license through Teams or whatever it might be, as Adam just mentioned, they can download the Dynamic Signal app and still consume and get that information that way as well. So it, depending on your organizational structure and the number of licenses you have for, for within the M365 ecosystem, we can layer on top of that and create a more e effective uh, and, and communication structure and be able to reach everyone within your organization. The other component about Gerilyn is <clears throat> kind of to, to a degree what I was mentioning around that employee discount code, right? Is that dynamic signal, if you're gonna, if you are gonna use the app, it can be the app to rule all other apps, right? So we can we can often replace your need. So let's let's use ADP as the example, right? Employees go to the ADP app to look at their pay stub, see if they got their overtime, see how much vacation time they have left, so on and so forth. We could seamlessly pull that data in from an integration, a connection with ADP, and within the Dynamic Signal app, you could, you as an employee, could see your pay information, right? And on top of that, right, we might also know that, that that's something that Adam wants as a non-exempt employee. Jerry Lynn, you're a salaried employee, you're exempt, right? You don't go look at your pay stub twice a month. It's exactly the same, right? So you don't even get that button. You don't even get that link because again, we know who you are, where you are, and why you are in the organization. If you wanted to get to your pay stub, we certainly could create that for you, or maybe that link is link number seven for you in a list of icons up at the top. Whereas for me, it's the first thing, right? Or that employee discount icon is the first thing, or my schedule is the first thing, or whatever it is within the organization. Um, that those employees are using most often, it, it tends to create that consolidation from a stickiness perspective. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and Gerald, this is David Honig. I wanted to address what you said because one of the trends that we've been seeing over the past 24 months is the consolidation of technologies, um, you know, within IT organizations um, and, and now business units. And as Adam said, um, you know, you know, in the last 11 years, as we've been building this employee experience platform. Um, many of our clients, especially the retailers, have been um, strategizing with us on taking in other technologies that employees might use, but they want to consolidate it into one under the dynamic signal umbrella. So um, not just like the ADP, but all the workforce management tools, rewards programs, HR, um, any, anyone, anyone that has an API can essentially come into the employee experience where employees have that one voice of truth to access and get all their information. Yeah, no, totally understand. I actually use Dynamic Signal at, at my company, so it, I'm maybe uh, being, you know, a little circumventing, which we're having troubles with fragmentation, right? There's so many apps for employees to use and figure out, especially through the Microsoft Office 365 system. So how do we, you know, do you utilize dynamic signal to kind of get them all there is it more is it a, a better tool for us as comms people to make to get to the delivery um, mechanism so really helpful really appreciate the conversation yeah and we be if you want to have a separate conversation offline be happy to reach out and connect and, and talk about that in more detail thank you okay so hey want to bring us home here we're at the we're at the end uh thanks so much for for joining folks uh as a reminder uh, would love to have you fill out that plat snack survey. Uh, it's important to get feedback on the session, what you want to learn about next, what other third party applications you want to plug into Teams, and or if you need help, right? Uh, maybe there's a configuration or a deployment or just more education uh, needed. So uh, leveraging that survey link will, will help uh, us with that follow through as well. Um, Previous sessions are, are there on the screen, so you can click those if you'd like to, to check out uh, those snackables. Um, there's a link to the Dynamic Signal app right on that screen as well. And we are looking forward to having Atlassian and Jira join us in May, We're still working on that date. But I uh, want to thank the Dynamic Signal folks for uh, having a, a great session today. Really appreciate the partnership. Thank you. Likewise, Travis. Thanks for the opportunity.